In this video, we're going to explore the tables and specifically table borders because this is a slightly different structure as what you might be expecting from tables, although you probably use this a lot as well. So let's start and explore here. So right now I have here this card. I want to add a new card in here. So I'm just going to copy one. I'll just put it below our or just between the list card. Then we have here now a table card or card table. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to remove this item here. We're going to add up a table here. So I'm going to make a quick table. And in here we will put in a, a, a table head. Oh, sorry, this is not the table, this table row first. And then within the table row, we're going to put in the table head. And let's add up two table heads here. So we have two columns. We want to make two columns here. And then what we can do here, almost similar, is same here. But then we will do here the table data. Do this twice. And there you are. So here we can say, for example, here, number and uh, product, for example. And then we say here, chicken. And then, or this is number one is chicken. There you are. So once we did that, save that. We have here something. All right. This looks. This is a table. It looks like a table, or it doesn't look really much like a table. And we can now start to play around with this. So let's start and play around with this. So we have these these items here. We can just move. We have our unordered list. So what we're going to do now is to add up our table CSS here. And basically what we want to do is we want to give it table borders. So we're going to give you the property of table borders and then you will see something surprising. If we say here table border, we can do this and then we have the uh, TR and the table TR, TH and of course the table data. And here we say border one pixel solid black if we save that and then refresh you can see now we get this nice border except we have multiple borders here between which is absolutely not appealing so what we can do is for example why you might say well because of this here we have multiple and basically all what we need to do is maybe have the tr and the th and the td being set together well all right let's try and explore that one if you save this you will see the same story here this looks nice but there's still some space in here this is what you could say the offset and what we need to do is we need to remove the offset here by using a collapse option and i will show you that in another video where we're going to put in the collapse properly thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions regarding this, make sure you put them in the comment section. I'll get back to you. And if you enjoyed this video, check out the next video here. You will probably enjoy this as well.